every now and then you come across somebody and think, wow, you know, that, that person's a genius. Yeah, I say that about you every day. <laughs> well, tonight, Homer Bash introduces us to an extraordinary young woman who is making contributions to the medical world and proving that age is just a number. Lindsay Wang's resume looks something like this. Nine published studies in highly respected medical journals, featured in more than 1,000 news articles on CNN, Fox, NPR, and more. Avid violin player and computer programming since age six. Oh, and did we mention she's a 17-year-old senior at Orange High School? Everyone's like, oh, how could you get so much published? It's just because I like to work on this a lot. I work on this a lot in my free time after school, now also with the help of the prin my principal and my guidance counselor and all my teachers, I can do it during the school day now. Lindsay teamed up with researchers at Case Western Reserve University last summer, including Dr. Nathan Berger. He's a medical hematologist oncologist with more than 40 years at Case. People can't believe it when we tell her that this work was done by a high school student. Lindsay's research has focused around COVID-19, analyzing vaccines, variants, long COVID, and more. We recently had one published about endocarditis, which is a heart disorder. We also did one about new onset Alzheimer's after being infected. How rare is it when you hear about a 17-year-old being published in medical journals, not once, not twice, Nine times. I've never seen it before. Dr. Berger says everything Lindsay does is peer reviewed internally and also by a team of external experts at the medical journals. And her work has already been used to implement public health policy and incorporated into CDC guidelines. It's really exciting. She's already made major contributions to the field of uh, medicine. And as impressive as all of it is, for Lindsay, it is simply a passion. She spends more than 30 hours a week on her research, and Dr. Berger expects her to publish half a dozen more studies before she graduates in the spring. I want to continue to do this. I want to help people. I want to inform people during this like rapidly evolving pandemic. In just a couple of weeks, Lindsay will find out if she gets into her dream school, Stanford University, and I gotta say, I have a pretty good feeling about this. At Orange High School, Homa Bash, News 5.